principles of communication ramachandra of fatehgar lala ji maharaj the style of speech should be devoid of rise and fall in pitch on the contrary it should be like the divine current flowing evenly since the beginning of creation this is a philosophy that when the flow of conversation proceeds in conformity with reality there develops a state of harmony between the two and the divine way starts developing automatically whatever is spoken goes on touching the hearts of others in other words a sort of relationship is established with the current of reality when relationship is created effectiveness has to be there if we copy it only those words will flow during conversation that are intended and are right to achieve this we first of all try to remove the rise and fall in the voice while speaking which is also called sharpness the flow of speech will go on acquiring harmony with the current of reality to the extent that such a reduction is achieved progressively by sharpness i do not only imply anger which is very heavy and should not be allowed at all in this context what i mean is that the flow of speech should not carry any kind of weight in it the balanced condition of mind will give an expression of right attitude in all our activities under varied circumstances in broad sense it is an reflection of our character it has a deep impact and a favorable influence on all those people who are associated with us the balanced condition of mind reveals itself in conversation which can either be serious and long or light and short such conversation is devoid of excitement or any high pitched emotional outburst and devoid of any rapid short tempered and moody reaction a person whose tongue is polite civilized and cultured has a large pure and noble heart and thus has a wide sway over the minds of others the pure heart in communion with the base or the source pours itself forth naturally with nobility magnanimity and love ambiguity and indecision are not to be encouraged a civil tongue is a prerequisite to achieve the goal of human life a cultured tongue rules the kingdom of the heart anger is poison to spirituality unless 
we are free from this plague. Moderation can never be obtained. The effect of anger is that system becomes heavy and tension is produced. There will be continuous pressure on thought. This human frailty leads to loss of self-respect and individuality and results in unhappiness. Anger does not allow the free and subtle current to enter or in other words it restrains the flow of divine grace. If anger is overcome and nasty short-tempered is avoided, there is scope for attainment of a balanced condition of mind. It is a pity that this important and essential principle of the use of the tongue in the inevitable and the constant activity of the man is often overlooked and neglected. To free ourselves from anger, we should think ourselves to be polite and humble. A cool and calm disposition alone is required for spirituality. When we have lost all sense of our own significance and are devoid of ego consciousness in any form, direct or indirect, then whatever we do will be just what we ought to be doing. This condition, if bestowed by God, is the best of all conditions. Everyone ought to try to arrive at it. The technique of developing softness is to create extreme humility in temperament so that it is filled with such a sentiment of love as to have no inclination to cause any hurt to anyone's heart.